Hi there! My name is Ruth and welcome to today's video. So today I'm going to take you through how to successfully install and get readings from an ultrasonic flow meter. I'm also going to cover some of the problems that you might come across during the installation process. I hope you enjoy the video. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video and also if you have any comments or suggestions feel free to leave them in the comment section down below and one other thing if you want to get notified every time we publish a video click the bell icon down below let's get straight into the business of today on to the very first step which is plugging in our cables the cables are color coded so you will not make any mistake blue goes on blue and red goes on red plug in the cables on the transducers and also do the same with the flow meter Next step will be applying a couplant on the transducers. You can use Vaseline or grease and then you are going to attach the transducer on your pipe. The transducer has a magnet which will also make it uh, hold firmly. The one with the red cable goes upstream while the one with the blue cable goes downstream. In the next step, use the manual to go through the various parameters and also set up everything like the pipe type and the arrangement type that you're using to make sure everything is good and set. Even after you've done everything and all you can see on the display of the flow meter is no signal, you might have to do some adjustment. For instance, you see our pipe had paint on it, so we are going to scrap off the paint from the area where we are going to place the transducers. You also might need to add the couplant more of it to ensure the transducer is in good contact with the pipe. Another thing that you can do is tying the transducers using the rope to ensure contact with the pipe you'll be taking your measurements from. You can also try a different method of arrangement. For instance, in this case, we are going to use a Z arrangement. And finally, another thing to consider is the distance in between the transducers. After that, all is set. The flow meter is recording data and you can leave it for about 30 minutes, 20 minutes or one hour or so, depending on your preference, for it to collect data and then you can come back later, remove it from the pipe and go retrieve your data. 